Hello everyone and welcome to Ginger Prime. My name is Brian if you happen to be new around here, but if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back you legend. And thank you so much for checking out this video. That's what you get for subscribing by the way, free compliments and extra thanks at the start of these videos. Now I want to walk you through my controller guide for Tower of Fantasy. This is gonna help get you started and hopefully help kind of address any of the little pain points that the game currently has when playing on a controller. Just note that you will be prompted with keyboard and mouse shortcut commands when playing through the tutorial and hopefully I can help you understand how that's mapped here. Just note as the game continues to develop, future mapping will come in to allow us to customize this further so be sure to keep it locked to the channel so that way I can keep you guys up to date with new guides and information as it becomes available. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how basically this works on a controller. You can see here I'm using an Xbox Series 2 controller um, and I use a chat pad. This is just an Xbox chat pad. Not going to necessarily come into play in this guide but I like that because I like playing MMORPGs on controllers and if you like MMORPGs too Maybe you're going to like some of the videos that I have here on the channel itself. But I'm going to walk you through the basics. Essentially, A is going to be jump, X is going to be dodge, Y is going to be your special skill, and B is going to be your attack. But B actually is going to act as a multi-purpose type of interaction. If I can find something to interact with here, there we go. Anytime you see the press the F to interact button, that's actually also going to act as a B button. So note that the controller is going to be multi-purpose. Now, up, down, left, and right, on the d-pad are going to cycle you through your weapons and they're going to allow you to change out or even bring in your relic and bring out your superpowers so you can see here i can press left i can do that there i can press right now i can switch back into my main weapon and then i can start my attack on this flame guy and continue on from there so you have a lot of functionality in fact if you want to pick up the flame guy some enemies have kind of an option where you can pick them up and then toss them that's again also going to be a b uh, issue and then you can easily jump up interact with more things so that's just getting started at it like when you get more advanced in the combat you can obviously put in your jumps bring in your slams you can also press your right trigger to interact with your relic right bumper is going to be your relic too uh, left trigger is going to be aim and charge and left bumper is going to be your main menu that you can kind of jump into various things like if you want to get into your rewards you gotta you gotta have to tap it so it's a little bit strange in that regard so it's what's going on right now if you're playing in real time, uh, you want to get so far in the story, you unlock your rewards pane, and then you can start to see all the different things that you have unlocked by pre-registering and more. So kind of keep that in mind. You just need to keep doing the MSQ to advance the story of the game itself. And that's kind of a general tip that uh, we keep giving. Now, if I want to press the start menu, note that I cannot yet interact with the main menu itself. So what you end up having to do is to actually bring in your mouse and keyboard. So just kind of keep that in mind. To close the main menu, you can press start again. If you want to consume food, you want to press down on the uh, left stick. And if you want to be able to bring out a vehicle, which I don't have at the moment, it would be down on the left stick. I think I said left and right correctly, but you guys can let me know if I messed that up in the comments below. So being that you have the various different weapons, you can obviously swap out your different attacks. You can obviously engage uh, and just run around and in interact with other people. Like let's say uh, this is another player right here. Um, if that was an NPC, you would see like the, the F button to be able to bring that up. Note that there will be times you still need to bring up kind of your main menu. And uh, like in this case, like if you want to bring up your quest log, you're going to have to press the T button to kind of give it that that location uh, for you on the UI. Now, let's jump into settings because when we when we talk about it, you do have a controller page and you actually have to scroll down to get to it. Coming soon is for the customization. Now, I obviously am using wireless and if you're having trouble with getting your controller to connect, note that it should actually just work as a plug and play. And if that is not working for you, I would highly recommend, highly encourage you to maybe do a repair on the client or uh, report that to support. Because for me, I saw a lot of people saying that they weren't able to use it, um, but in the end, it just ends up, uh, you know, it just ends up connecting and working. Now, there's been times where the game right now, especially at launch, has had a couple of bugs, a couple of issues, um, but that's going to be just kind of what it is. Now, again, if we go back in here, you can also see uh, on the D-pad, you have a couple of different options, take picture, chat. Uh, you can see what's going on uh, within the world and who pe what people are talking and saying what. Uh, you also have the option, if I go ahead and close out a chat, with a mouse click, <laughs> uh, holding the left bumper, you also have the ability to uh, zoom in and zoom out with the right trigger, uh, giving yourself a better little cam a camera angle in that regards. And so, yeah, that's, that's going to be it. I'm going to go fight this guy real quick.
bringing out my arrows, bringing out my superpowers, pulling that fire, and then bringing out my spear. And then again, if you see where it pr says press H, you're gonna have to actually press the H key. Like there's some things that just currently do not map yet to the controller, but I will try to keep you guys up to date as soon as that develops and happens. So you guys, if you have any questions after this video, please sound off in the comments below. Uh, you can always hit us up on Discord as we continue to venture into the world of Tower of Fantasy, as well as other MMORPGs. And yeah, thanks guys so much for your time. Thanks if you end up hitting that like button and you, this is a video that gets you subscribed to the channel. Be sure to sound off in the comments below so I can officially welcome you uh, to uh, the channel itself. And that's going to be it, guys. I hope you are enjoying uh, your time with Tower of Fantasy. I hope you have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. But until then, take care. Yeah. It's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments. That's right. You know me when it comes to destiny. I'm off with a clam, and I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, yeah.